and welcome back to the relaxing ghost channel here on youtube today we have the 10 pounds of gold three disc dvd review from the national wrestling alliance very nice dvd set i'll uh, get that right out of the way very satisfied with the with the set here and I've, I was able to pick this up off their eBay page. I'm, I'm not sure if it was on their site at one point in time. But the little combo deal with the uh, 10 pounds lapel pin here. Oh, hell yeah. This was made by Lapel, yeah. The uh, NWA's domed globe version. One of my favorite championships in history. So we got a three disc set here. This was like 30 bucks on their eBay page. Like I said, it might have been on their website at a point in time. So here we go. 10 pounds of gold. We got the first 50 episodes on DVD here. And um, the only thing I wish they would have changed of the cover is if they would have made the championship a bit more prominent uh, featured. You know, we don't really have a good shot of it. Just the kind of uh, logo of the the series so that's my one complaint um so far anyway you know you got your three more current champions tim storm nick aldis and cody rhodes of course cody rhodes you know was uh the former champion at this point dropping it to aldis current champ of course so really nice spine very kind of basic but i think it works for this this set really cool to see that nwa logo on uh these dvd sets so looking at the back here there's no run times maybe they'll uh maybe they'll put that into the sets eventually but again we got our nwa logo and a brief breakdown of all the episodes there's Billy Corgan, Tim Storm, Colt Cabana, who of course is a former NWA champion. Discard and interior artwork is very simple, so we'll run down that first and then the other artwork at the end. Similar to the cover, we have, you know, the three previous champions with Tim Storm, Cody Rhodes, or Cody, whatever they were calling him, and Nick Aldis. And just a quick buyer beware for anyone who's interested. The discs may become dislodged from the holders during shipping. I have had a, a few issues with that with with their DVD sets. Not all of them, but a, a couple of them have came loose during shipping. So just be aware of that. And they would like you to play the entire DVD before you contact them with any grievances. So, just thought I'd throw that out there. So, first up, you know, behind disc one, we got all the men with the title. Really cool to see uh, Cody Rhodes winning that championship. And then Nick Aldis, not the best shot. You know, I, th I think that could have been a little better. I think Cody has the best pitcher here. You know, it really kind of takes you back to, like, Dusty Rhodes being champion. That looks like a, a pitcher Dusty would have took. Um, that might be the same picture of Aldis on the cover here. Yeah, it actually is. So, good job, NWA. It, I don't have a problem with it. I, I just think, you know, being the series is the 10 pounds of gold. I think the title should have been a little bit more prominently valued in some of these pictures. Interior artwork looks great. Usually WWE's DVDs, you got that extra panel here. I'm fine with the way they've done it. But we got, uh, you know, shots from the All In and the uh, 70th anniversary, I believe. Cody versus Nick Aldis. And then we got all the former champions here going back to Orville Brown. The really nice touch to add to a DVD. You know, I, I would have liked to see some sort of timeline, but I get it. It would have took up a lot of space with with everyone's reigns here. We're going back to 1948 with uh, these reigns here. And 
lot of the Ric Flair reigns and things like that. They're just very, very lengthy reigns. But I do like the touch. I do love to see all the names. So brief breakdown here. We got the old school era of wrestling and then the early days of the NWA. You know, with, with Dory Jr., Harley, Jack Briscoe, Terry Funk, Dusty Rhodes, uh, Ric Flair. Hold on. Um, sorry about that. And then we get into, like, the international days of WCW with uh, Steamboat and Sting and Fujinami. Then into the ECW era with Douglas, Candido. And then back to the NWA era, into the TNA era with Jeff Jarrett and Shamrock and so on, Raven, Rhino, and Christian. And then back to its roots of the NWA, like Adam Pierce, Colt Cabana, Rob Conway, guys like that. Um, Tim Storm also held it. I don't think many people realize that. Or, sorry, I, th I thought it was James Storm for a second. But yeah, Tim Storm, more recent champion. We got Blue Demon Jr., Brent Albright, a uh, more recognized champion. So disc one, we got 21 episodes. Disc two, we got a 16 episodes, 22 through 38. And disc three, only 12 episodes. So this, of course, is like the... Uh, Cody versus all this stuff with the American Nightmare and things like that. The villain. Disc 1 is mainly like the Tim Storm story. Where they were really building up Tim Storm and the return to the NWA. And this was a fantastic series, I can tell you this. I've, I've seen a lot of these episodes. It's going to go back. It's going to be good to go back and watch a lot of these. You know... It sucks they've hi or fired their their producer and whatnot, but they had to do what they had to do. And, you know, the NWA is going to continue to move on without that man. So, yeah, overall, I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. Definitely recommend you guys go out and try to find this either on the NWA's eBay page or their shop website of the National Wrestling Alliance. Highly recommend this, guys. Let me know your thoughts. And if you have any suggestions of any kind, drop a comment down below. And as always, we'll talk to you later. Peace.